Okay, and we're back. Wait a minute. Did I have an additional one of the ice things? Oh no, I guess it was just showing it there for some reason. Alright, so here's the plan. We're going to leave the dungeon. Come back in to get those four miss- Oh, I like how she sits in the cannon. It means everyone has their own unique one. Well, they usually do. I just never really show them all. Maybe I will cycle through it since it's the last, you know, war- Well, last town, I guess, and all. Well, actually, it's more likely the- more actually, actually. Actually, actually. Hmm. Anyway, it's more than likely the last dungeon proper we're going to be going through, if memory serves me correctly. I could be wrong. I might be, in fact, but I'm pretty sure on that fact. Now, uh, let's see. I need three of these. Why do I- did I keep this in? Hmm. Mm, I don't know if I need to or not. And that's only worth 10. Screw it, I might as well keep it. Do I want to sell the tag though yet? Nah. Not until I'm absolutely sure and I'm not going to do that until I like, you know, leave and check things. And we're just going to go straight in. Back into the moon sea! No idea why they call it a sea, though. Without water, is it really a sea? I mean, even if it was like a frozen lake. Wow, that's depressing. That area had so few Atlan, I only got one before I got violated. That's... Wow. Now I feel bad. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway... Is this the exact same map as before, basically? No, 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 it was different from this. This was just a map we've been through before, more or less. Second floor? What? Whoops. Oh, thank God. It didn't fire yet. But it's about to, so I should probably... Parts HD? Head? Maybe? You die first, filthy creature. Alright, well, might as well kill a mimic! As I was about to say, might as well check. Yep, parts HD. Looks like a head. Well, clearly this crown goes first, but I'm curious as to what that says. Goes between the shoulders. Does it? Mm. Uh, let's see. Is there anything that remotely looks like whatever that is? Can't see anything without this. No, it doesn't look like there's anything of that variety. Although I do want to straighten that out. Hey, what are we missing from there? Oh, right. Whatever that is. Right. Okay. Okay, so that's two out of the four we're missing. It always irritates me when I have to go back to an area that I've already technically completed. Because I've missed Atla. Come at me, fish! Actually, you're not even a fish. You're a robot. You're a robot fish. That doesn't mean you're any lesser than a normal fish. It just means you're not an actual... Well, it means that you're not a fleshy fish, let's say. Because... I mean, can I really actuate the difference between a robot humanoid and a human? I mean, I suppose if it has emotions and thoughts and feelings, it's really the same, but that that's a whole nother issue and sim and we're just not going to get into that right now. We're not playing something like Soma or anything. I'm not playing Tales of the Abyss where we have to ponder about the ethics of cloning slash robot whatever. I mean, there wasn't really a robot ethical issue in that one, but it was relatively the same sort of thing, like if you're per if this counts as a person's life or not. So in the long run, it's kind of the same. I'm trying to think of the word, but I'm drawing a blank. The same ethical dilemma, that's what I was trying to think of. 
Well, it's more of a phrase, but now I'm just rambling. Damn fish. Anyway, I'm gonna take this thunder. Moon bug! Oh, come on, I was stuck on the corpse of the other one! Fucking creatures. Is that. Oh, yeah, hey, the gunpowder I need to progress. Excellent. Map. Did I get every one of the athlete? I don't. No, I didn't, by the way. Alright, I forgot I need to get cheeses, don't I? Crap. Well, I'll do that off screen. That's not that big an issue. I need, what, five? Yeah, five. And I need to get some water, but I can do that any old wear, so. Mm. Now, once I repair my sword, I've got a moon bug to brutally murder. You gonna start shit now, Hellpockle? Well, it doesn't look like. Oh, no, wait, yeah, there's an Atla that way. Okay. <sighs> anyway. Eagle head? What? Eagle. Oh yeah, eagle head. An ornament of the Grand Moon Eagle. Well, that doesn't fit anywhere that I have yet, so uh, I guess we're just moving on. To the next area. Where there will be more loot. And our last Atla. Oh god, I hear it. That awful noise. Twisted horn. That might be one of the things I need for one of them. Let's see. Oh no, it's... Now we have two of those. Okay. There's a lot of treasure in this room. In no enemies. Mimic room. And now I get to go into another back room. But should I? This is going to be a lot longer and I'm probably going to have to split it into parts if that happens though. Yeah, I figured as much. Another Drain's Feather. Oh, a lock chest. Force it open. Oh. Well, excellent. A five foot nail. All right. Huh. Wait, why am I looking here? I actually. No, no, no. Well, actually. Let's see what a five foot nail has. Critical! Hmm. What do you need to build? Not too bad. Not too bad either way. But what does a five foot nail become? And furthermore, is it what I want it to become? Okay, let us see. Five foot nail is a level one weapon. So, it's behind our uh, Mirage, I think. Yeah, our Mirage is a level three. Two away from getting to his ultimate weapon. But we could still build our five foot, build it into the Mirage, and do the same with the Halberd and the Javelin. Just build them up for the sake of making them synth spheres and popping them into the Mirage. The only downside to doing that is... Well, actually, it starts out with some elements. Does this one? Well, I have some on it, and I was genuinely trying to build it, wasn't I? Yeah. And same goes to this. This one I was genuinely trying to build. Hmm... 
I mean, I guess I should try building it up to them to their next level and then since fearing them if I don't make it and popping them into Mirage. That's probably going to be, like, the smartest way to do this. What do we have in here right now? Various elements. Okay. They can only put one Sin Sphere at a time into it, so... Hmm. That's something to think about. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. We're right here in this area. I might as well go down to the next level. But, again, I don't know if I want to, because time restraint. I'll just split this into parts. It's no big deal. Very relaunch. Test the courage. I mean, in all honesty, I don't even need to complete this level. Since I've already done that, I just have to do whatever the hell I want here, which is get the Atlan. You. Filthy creature! Huh. Well, that worked well. All right, now let's see where that puts us. In the grand scheme of things for this weapon. Still needs attack. Still needs MP, not surprising. Okay, it's done with wind and ice. I just need fire, thunder, holy. And still need all of them. Okay, so a diamond should solve that problem. No question. I should probably get another Garnet, because that'll finish up attack, I'm guaranteed, basically. Well, no, because that only brings it to seven, does, 97, doesn't it? And it's probably going to be needing 99 attack for me to get it. I'm thinking it wants all of the regular stats maxed. So how are we going to handle this? I'm definitely going to need to, you know, push it beyond level 5 and get this a bunch of levels. So, let me think for a moment while we're in a bit of a calm here. Alright, I'm gonna wa probably want the Garnet, no question. That'll buff my attack, but not my MP, so I'll have to grab another MP-based thing. Maybe the Aquamarine again. No, I already did that, so I'll go for the other MP-based thing. Why don't I open the map, <laughs> map, the thing for this? See, the other MP-based thing was, uh... Oh, no, wait. It was Emerald that I used last time. Not Aquamarine. That was for Ice, duh. Okay, so, obviously we're not getting Aquamarine again. If I get Garnet and Emerald again, that'll give me basically the same things I got before. Which means those might get finished easily. Alright. So what elements do I know I need? Because that'll decide some of this. What gets Thunder? Pearl. Pearl gives thunder, but I don't need any endurance, so that's iffy at best. Topaz gives attack and speed and I'm dead in sky, but again, that's iffy. I don't know what they want with these. If they want 99 in everything, that's going to be a bitch and a half. Because even diamond doesn't guarantee that. It gives me metal breaker 10 and it gives me 5 to everything else. If I kept doing diamonds, maybe, but I think what it wants me to do, probably, is level up my other swords and make them synth spheres and pop them in here. Now, granted, seeing what we have on this now, that'll probably get its basic stats up, its fire, and maybe some of its other, its other things. I mean, it kind of pains me to do it that way, though. Because I gotta get this all the way up to five now. Hmm. Or I could stick with the gem method. And what was it I needed again? Thunder and fire. Which I have both of those already. But that doesn't boost it by much. And they clearly don't want all these maxed out, I'm guessing. Okay. Same time, I don't want to take the risk with just these small fry element buffs. I think I want to just ham it with the gems. So... Garnet and Emerald will definitely get my base stats where I need it to be. Maybe not the Emerald, because getting 
10 up might not put it where it needs if my theory on it wanting all of the tributes at 99, correct. Okay. Now, I don't think it wants all the elements there, because not all of the elements had gone up to 99, and they hit their mark. These, however, I have no idea what it wants from me. It might want them all at 99, which would be problematic. Okay, so my garnet gets fire up, but that doesn't get thunder or holy. I'm probably going to need to get a pearl, honestly. Pearl and peridot? Garnet, pearl, peridot? Actually... Peridot gets my attack up as well. So I might go with the Peridot instead of the Garnet. To buff up my Holy a bit more, because we need that more than we need Fire, I'm assuming. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just double down. Garnet and a Peridot even though I technically don't need it, but we'll do it anyway. And I'll get an emerald, and we'll see how that works. Okay. Okay, I've been rambling on long enough about this. Garnet Pearl and... Or Garnet Peridot and... Emerald. Okay. And then obviously I'm going to need, you know, the diamond somewhere along the way, because that's not leveling up my beast stuff. Okay, Holy Water... Hopefully I'll get some of those gems in here, but I'm not holding my breath. Are you a miner on the moon? That, that thought just occurred to me. I mean, he has a shovel and a mining hat. Okay, anti-curse. I only have one curse, so that's helpful. I, actually, I think I have two exact, so never mind. Fire gem, definitely selling that one. It's definitely selling the stamina drink, because screw that noise. Oh. Ow. Damn, Ponkle. Ha! You failed! I opened a chest before you could... Pearl. And that was one of the things I was thinking about getting. I just have to remember why. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, but hey. Okay, I can buff my thunder now and my undead now. Eh, screw it. They gave it to me. Not gonna look at... Damn it. Not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm gonna think of it. Where'd that expression even come from, gift horse? What even is a gift horse, for that matter? And why would you be looking one in the mouth? I might as I guess I'm not selling one of these strand feathers now. Okay. Oh shoot, I completely forgot I had that going on. Where I had the bread in here. The worthless slice of bread. Eh, I still got a lot to sell and throw into storage, so I'm not complaining. Okay. Another hell pockle. Well, let's hope that last chest has some form of gem in it. But they were already pumped with energy! Ow. Why are you giving them more energy? Stop it! Oh, that was cool. I could see him from across the path. Pool of water time. Pockle murdering time. Oh boy. More bread. Such usefulness out of that. Come on. And another holy water. Alright. Time to bounce. With that, we're going to end this episode here. See you guys in the next one.